Hey guys, thank you for tuning into my video on how to hack your Wii. So this is going to be to add the homebrew channel on. So to get started, go to the Wii options and you'll see this pop up. Go to the Wii settings. That's me right there. <laughs> Wait for that to load up. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're actually going to go to the internet and you want to connect to the internet first uh, before we do anything. So search for your uh, router and the access point. I didn't want to show mine, so I skipped it. Once that pops up, connect to your access point, click Save Settings. Um, they've been saved, and testing the connection can take a little bit. I skipped it. So this is an important part. If you do not have a 4.3U Wii, click Update. If you already have the most updated Wii, don't update. And then that's it for that, which is easy. Um, and then we can go back, and this is important. Go to the internet bar right there, Go to console information and this is your mac address you need to write this down now or take a picture we're going to need it for this next part of the video all right and next after you connect it to the internet on your wii um made sure you did an update if your version was not at the latest version which is 4.3 u and um or just not update because if your version is at 4.3 u just ignore the update after you connect to the internet and after that uh you grabbed your mac address and now we're on the computer and we're going to go to this website um, called letterbomb just type in letterbomb in your google bang click on the first um link right here and uh for security purposes i'm not going to type my mac address in but basically you know you just type your um address in you click i'm not a robot and you cut the red or blue wire, it does not matter. Um, it kind of stumped me at first. I didn't know if the red or blue wire was like bad or something, but you can click any of them. Make sure also you click 4.3U if you're in the US. Um, the E is for Europe, J is for Japan, K is for Korea, I believe. All right, now that you typed your MAC address in, um, there should be a little folder down there in the bottom left corner called letterbomb.zip. Um, if you're on Windows, you know, you have automatic zip built in. If you're on Mac, you might have to download something like 7-Zip or um, 7-Z, I guess if you call it, or like WinRAR or stuff like that. So <clears throat> just unzip that bad boy. Um, I usually just unzip it just, you know, right there. And then you'll get a folder. Um, copy and paste that folder into your SD card. Well, not the folder. Copy and paste the contents of the folder into your SD card. Bam. Just right into the SD card. It's called the root of the SD card if you didn't know. Um, so yeah, now that we have that stuff set up, that's it. That's the hack pretty much um, on the computer end of things to get the home bridge out on the Wii. So now we're going to go over to the Wii. All right, guys, we are back um, from downloading Letterbomb. And we put the letter bob um, from our computer onto the SD card. And now we can uh, just put the SD card right in the Wii. And as you can see, this is a fresh Wii, non-modded. Non All right, put that in there. This is the first time I'm modding this Wii, particular Wii. All right, put that sucker in there. Now the bottom left, it lights up blue. <clears throat> and this is probably the easiest hack in existence. So bear with me, go to the bottom right. Click on the Wii message board and then scroll to the left a little bit or sometimes it's to the right. Mostly just scroll to the left a couple times or once and you'll see this. Click on it. And that's that's it. Just let it do its thing right now. And um, this is the most annoying part. <laughs> so you can't skip this and you have to read this and wait until you see the press one to continue. It takes a long time for this to skip be able to skip it because they really want you to read this i guess um so we'll be back it takes a couple minutes and i'll see you when it's done all right we are back and now finally we can skip it so click one to continue and you'll be greeted with this installer screen it's beautiful T team twizers twizzers whatever all right uh click continue and click install the homebrew channel yes continue and let it do its thing. Remember, you have to be connected to the internet. Remember the previous steps we did with the internet? Continue. Uh, and you're also going to want to click the boot me because we want to install boot me just in case, you know, when you see my next videos on how to like do custom stuff, like change the screen color and themes and all kinds of stuff, you could actually break your Wii. It's called bricking your Wii. 
So this will act as like a protection for that. Um, click yes, continue. Uh, yes, continue. And basically, what this does is if you fuck up your, uh, if you frick up your Wii, excuse my swearing, um, you can actually hold the reset button while turning the Wii on and it will actually boot to the boot me first before it loads anything in the Wii, before it loads the home menu and you can get rid of the mess ups that you uh, did. So, all right, now that we installed boot me and homebrew, let's return to the uh, main menu. And that's about it for adding the homebrew channel. As you can see, it pops up. There's no app so on it. Ch um, check out my other videos for some really cool features. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.